I was just wondering if you had any advice to people on how to get to a place in their life where they're doing what they love. Well, first of all, um, is now with uh, with the technology that we have that's at our fingertips. Um, there's no excuse for not just going out there and trying stuff. There's a saying we have here at Pixar as we're developing a movie that I think is 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 really appropriate for people trying to do stuff, and that is be wrong as fast as you can. So often, people when they're doing something, they're so kind of they wanted to get it perfect, and they don't ever want to show it to somebody. Get some uh, friends and colleagues. That, that really you know want to kind of help you out. That's how we do it here at Pixar. That's how Pixar has been able to to have the track record we have. That's why we still kind of have a blast at what we do. And there's no hierarchy of idea of ideas. And there's no hierarchy of, of notes. My notes are not any more important than an animator's or the receptionist or the chef here. You know everybody has the opportunity to give notes. And you get some great feedback. And then you go back and and, and you want to oh, okay yeah that's a great idea. You, you, you watch, your work will constantly get better. So to me, it's, it's just kind of get out there, do it, and just in, in, in rough it out in some way, like an animation we call blocking, you know, or a rough cut in editing or something like that. Go out and, and, and create, you know. My mother, I was blessed with, with being raised in a family where my mother was an art teacher. So her whole life was about teaching creativity in the public schools. And most other kids that, that I was going to school with really had parents that, that you were kind of like, this isn't a real job. You want to get a real job kind of thing. You know, and I would say to all those parents who say get a real job, take a look at Pixar. You know, That's, uh, it's definitely a real job. It's really successful. And uh, you know what? And it's super fun, too. And I didn't listen to these people either and I'm sitting next to John Lasseter. So well I think I think I think you're a great example a great example of, of the other thing that I, I tell my sons that's really important I think it goes to what you're doing and what I do is that choose something you really love to do and then you won't work a day in your life and so at Pixar we're, we're surrounded by our best friends we laugh from beginning to end don't we Robin? Yeah. We did. I mean, we laugh hysterically. <clears throat> if we worked on a road crew, you know, we'd get home, our wives would go, oh, honey, put your feet up. You know, let me, I, I'll keep the kids away from you and let me cook dinner for you. Don't worry about doing the dishes. Right? Right? Uh -huh. They know we have a blast all day and we're laughing. They get home, okay, your turn with the kids, <laughs> you know, and you're doing the dishes and all like that. And it's like, but we did work really hard. So the lesson but is to act like it's really hard. Yeah. To find something you love to do because you'll never work a day in your life and have a blast and, and, and do it. Don't sit around and talk about that I want to do this. Do it. Right. Thank you. That was great. Um, so who do I talk to to animate an episode of Wheezy Waiter? <laughs> talk to? Uh, I don't think you have the budget, really. <laughs> Sorry for Pixar. But anyway, I... But, Thanks. but anyway, um, keep going, man. Thank you. Thank you. Too. you. Thanks for being here. Nice to meet you. You bet.